Hello everyone, this is not a COVID awareness program. I am wearing the mask to protect myself from COVID and also from microplastics. Microplastics, plastic pollution, ill effects of mixed waste and the damage we humans are causing to the environment made me walk in the path of sustainability. I am so glad to talk in this platform because it's always good to talk uh, to children and youth because you are the future. So, do you know where does the trash that we throw go? Do you know from where and how we are getting the electricity? Do you know what are the chemicals that we use every day that are harmful to the environment? And did you know that uh, we are Breathing microplastics? Yes. Microplastics are there in the environment and uh, they are there in the air we breathe. So what are these microplastics and uh, how did we end up breathing microplastic? Microplastics are tiny plastic particles which are less than 5 mm in size. And uh, how did the microplastics get into the environment? It's us. We use plastic materials like plastic covers, plastic water bottles, plastic plates, plastic toys and so on and so forth and uh, throw them into the environment. They all break, disintegrates and become small, teeny tiny microplastics. A recent study done by Cochin University and uh, Pondicherry University found that there are 200 microplastic particles are found in 100 grams of dust collected from the streets of Chennai. So microplastics are everywhere. What makes the microplastic even more dangerous is the chemicals and the heavy metals get deposited on top of the uh, microplastic and uh, becomes inhalable toxic material. Do you know we are drinking microplastics? Yes. One of the reservoir that supplies water to the uh, Chennai city is uh, having a lot of microplastics. They did a test and found that there are six pieces of microplastics in one liter of water. On an average 2.8 grams of microplastics in one liter of water. You may think boiling water will make the microplastics uh, go away but that will make even more dangerous because once you boil the water uh, that has uh, microplastics they break down leach and uh, release uh, dioxin which is carcinogenic and uh, causes different types of cancer. Did you know we are eating microplastics? Yes. Microplastics are found in the fishes that we eat. We throw plastic materials after we uh, use them and uh, they end up in the water bodies and uh, reaches the ocean. Anything colorful, fishes and other marine animals uh, think it's food. They eat them and uh, some of them die and some of them get caught in the nets and uh, end up in our plates. Once the microplastics get inside, it can cause uh, diseases to our uh, lungs our respiratory system, our kidneys, our nervous system, our heart and our hormones. We are breathing microplastic, we are drinking microplastic and we are eating microplastics. And the microplastics or the plastic pollution is not only dangerous to the uh, human beings, the same thing applies to the other living beings also. You would have uh, read in newspaper or uh, watched in TV that uh, surgeons operated uh, a cow and found 50 kgs of plastic inside the uh, stomach of the cow. Or uh, an elephant uh, died because of no reason. They did an autopsy and uh, found uh, there is plastic waste inside the elephant's stomach. And also there was a tiger died uh, with, without any reason. Again, they did an autopsy and found a blade inside a tiger's uh, stomach. So, as human beings, we are not only uh, damaging the environment, 
we are not only damaging the uh, human beings we are also damaging the other living beings and now i would like to show you this photograph this was not taken in switzerland but closer to home it is the noyel river in coimbatore tamil nadu and what you see white in color is not snow it is the froth or the foam comes out of the chemicals that got mixed into the uh, river the tanneries and the uh, dyeing industries on the banks of river noyel letting out their uh, chemical waste into the river and uh, chemical waste plus running water equal to foam or froth which are toxins now the uh, water is uh, not potable and uh, people and uh, the animals drinking water out of this river are getting sick and uh, similar scene you would have uh, seen in the belandur lake in bangalore in 2017 and the next thing i want to talk about is something which we don't want to see or we don't want to smell the dump yards so where do you think uh, the waste goes after we throw them out of our home the sanitary workers pick it up from our streets they load them into a truck and the truck goes to a dump yard and uh, your waste is being dumped there whether it is a city or it's a town or it's a village it's the same story and outskirts of every town or city you can see the dump yards or the uh, trash mountains created by humans so what are the ill effects of the dump yards so when the trash is being dumped into the uh, dump yards it has a uh, mixed waste it has organic waste it has dry waste it has uh, e waste it has the reject waste so all these waste put together and dumped in a dump yard and uh, they are open to the rain and open to the sun they all break down and leach when they leach the poisonous liquid comes out and it pollutes the land mass in that area it also pollutes the ground water in that area so the ground water near the dump yard is contaminated what makes even more worse is the population india is having 130 crores of uh, population and tamil nadu is close to 7.5 crores uh, uh, population and the waste we generate is uh, mind boggling chennai is generating 5000 tons of mixed waste every day and uh, tamil nadu is uh, generating close to 30000 tons of mixed waste every day and most of the waste we throw are not managed properly they are simply dumped or burnt next i want to talk about is the very important resource that we can't even think live without the answer is energy or electricity so where do you think the electricity comes from most of the electricity needs or the energy needs are fulfilled by thermal power plants these thermal power plants emit poisonous gases like nitrous oxide sulfur oxide carbon monoxide etc and also they releases uh, ash as a by product in the process of producing electricity the more electricity we consume they need to burn more coal which means more poisonous gases and more ash into the environment so we talked about uh, various problems that uh, we human beings are uh, causing we are drinking microplastic we are eating microplastic we are breathing microplastics we are not only putting ourselves in danger we are also putting other living beings in danger so what shall we do about it can we do something about it yes we can so there are few things we need to correct one is the reckless usage of plastic whenever we go for shopping what do we do we put the convenience in the front right and uh, we go pick up vegetables from the vegetable shop each vegetable will be put in a separate uh, plastic cover and every time we go for shopping we bring at least 20 to 30 uh, plastic bags into our home and uh, we can easily avoid this we can carry a reusable cloth bag or we can store few cloth bags in our cars and bikes and whenever we go for shopping we can use them if we switch to this practice of refusing single use plastic bags every family can refuse up to 
plastic bags on an average in a year. Another important practice we can change is the disposables. Whenever we organize an event or a party or, or a function, uh, we always serve food. We love food, right? So we uh, uh, first thing we do is uh, we go get the uh, paper plates, paper cups, paper containers, etc. So that we can uh, use to serve food and then throw. So most of the paper uh, uh, stuff or paper plates that you buy are having plastic liners on them. And once you eat or consume the food and then throw them away, they all again ends up in landfill. And uh, once you eat whatever uh, hot food uh, served on the plastic coated uh, paper plates, you consume that plastic because plastic leach. Once you pour hot sambar or chutney or hot food, it will leach and uh, we consume the plastic. So instead, we can use the reusable cutlery. Uh, there is something called a BYOC. It is a movement. Bring your own cutlery. So we can always uh, carry our own cutlery and avoid this use and throw cutlery. In most of the states, the single use plastics or single use plastic plates are banned. But unfortunately, it's still there in use. And as consumers, we are continue to uh, buy and use them. We should stop and switch to reusable cutleries or even the water bottles. We use a uh, you know, lot of uh, disposable uh, water bottles we drink and then throw and they all get into the environment. They break down and gets into the uh, ocean and water bodies and the environment. Instead, we can switch to the uh, reusable stainless steel uh, water bottles and say no to single use water bottles. Another important thing which has some microplastics in it is the beauty products and uh, the makeup products. Whenever you see uh, shiny particles or shiny items or uh, any scrubs, then it has microplastics in them. So whatever the products that you buy, uh, please read or please develop the habit of reading the uh, list of contents in that product and make sure that the materials or the ingredients used not harmful to us or to the environment and about electricity consumption. Study your electricity bill and find out what are the ways we can reduce the electricity consumption. You can turn off your gadgets, set up box and uh, other electronic and electrical appliances when they are not in use. And uh, we can set up our temperature in our air conditioner from somewhere between 22 and 24 um, so that uh, it consumes less energy. So these are all small, small uh, changes that we do in our uh, electricity consumption and uh, it will save a lot of electricity uh, and the amount of coal being burnt will get reduced. So again, as I said, there are 5000 tons of mixed waste from Chennai, right? So which, res with, which applies to each and every city and town uh, based on the size of the town. If it is Virudhinagar, maybe uh, a thousand uh, tons. If it is um, Tirunelveli, another 500 tons. So every town or city uh, generates waste. And all we have to do is trash it right. And what do I mean by trash it right? Throw it differently. So your organic or wet waste or kitchen waste into the green bin and uh, any recyclable items like uh, glass or plastic or cardboard or metal, these things can go into a bag or a blue bin. And uh, the uh, electronic waste, your cell phone charger, your uh, broken laptop, your broken printer, etc. They can go into a separate cardboard box and uh, the sanitary waste which contains bodily fluids that can go into the, uh, you know, a red bin and can be sent to the landfill. So the wet waste you collected separately can be composted. The dry waste you collected in the bag or a blue bin can be recycled. And the e-waste you collected in a cardboard box can be uh, recycled or destroyed responsibly. And only the reject waste alone can go to the uh, landfill, right? So these are all small, small behavioral change. It is very important. I am just using, I am using the word behavioral change because all these days we got used to throwing all our waste 
into one single container or one single uh, black color plastic bag we tie them and just throw them right which is causing a big problem and all we have to do is do a small small uh, changes in our lifestyle which can make a big impact for us and also for other living beings so any change that needs to happen always there are two aspects to it one is the knowledge we gain the knowledge what are the ill effects of mixed waste what are the ill effects of uh, single use plastic what are the ill effects of microplastics how it is affecting the environment how the chemicals that we are using are affecting the environment now the next aspect or the other aspect is the action knowledge to action if you don't act then the knowledge is of no use so it's time to act let us live responsibly so that we and the other living beings can live in this planet thank you